Good morning everyone, it's Joker, and today we are back with another slime video. And after they took a break yesterday from giving us a content preview, they decided to drop it today uh, instead. So, I mean, I technically it, it does make sense because if we take a look at the schedule for these banners, they leave on the 29th, which is um, a Thursday, right? So the meta will change on Thursday the 29th. And I, you know, it was weird that we got Soka on the tenth, right? So it, it was kind of like midweek, I guess. So I guess they're going to start kind of slowly pushing content out to get us onto that Thursday release schedule. But we do have more than a few things in here, none of which I've actually looked at. So we've got the sale of temporary paid item, sale sale of paid items suspension that's happening over you know the course of Wednesday through, well. Tuesday through Thursday, technically, for me, but it'll only affect me uh, on Thursday, technically. So, uh, they're going to take everything out of the shop. I don't know why. We, we don't have any information about that. Uh, next up, we have Conquest Prime difficulties added. So, Conquest Prime's already a thing, as we know. It's Valor Cup gear. I have, like, four videos done on it, but I haven't put them up because I really... I don't really feel a need to do it, but whatever. Um, but apparently they're adding special effects units. So we got Katana Trial, Initial Rarity, 4-star or lower Katana characters. They get the special effect. And then Magic and Physical. So based on whatever stage you play, if they are 4-stars... Uh, or lower, they get extra stats in these in these stages, which will actually help. So I mean, I have like three of them recorded, so and they'll be without these buffs. Uh, but you know, moving forward, I guess that does help because there are a limited amount of units that you can use that your five stars have katanas or swords. So being able to use any four star is nice, and they are you know not as good stat wise, but whatever. And they're adding. Extreme and Inferno difficulties. Okay. Difficulty levels Extreme and Inferno will be added to Conquest Prime. In addition to being easier to get the Tome things in than the existing Master difficulty, drops such as Gold Hammers will be added. And for each quest you can get Valor Gear. Plus, total Milestone missions will be added along with the release of these new difficulties. Okay. So, let's take a look at it right now. We have Event, Conquest Prime... And, it, yeah, it goes up to Master only, right? So there's going to be new difficulties, so maybe another tab for EX and Inferno. Uh, it looks like they're going to give us another piece of gear for clearing those stages. Uh, okay, so, I mean, that makes sense as to why they're giving four-star units a stat buff to clear Master and Inferno. So, I guess I have, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... Nine, eight, I have 27 videos now. Ooh, technically, right? Because we got to do the Master, we got to do Extreme, we got to do Inferno. Now, I don't know how hard Inferno is going to be, obviously, but um, it's cool that it's going to get easier to get these because these don't drop very often. So that's already good stuff because I need, apparently, Valor Cup HP bracelets. So whoop de doo This will be something to do uh, starting tomorrow. And then, actually, wait, starting, t hold on. No, yeah, starting tomorrow. So then we have Valor Cup Season 8. Let's take a look at the rule. Uh, duh, 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 duh. We have a 1 blue, 1 orange, and 4 green starting hand. Okay, so fine, whatever. And I think we can check it out now what the, uh, what the actual rule is. So let's go in. Let's get the rewards from the season, right? That's always nice. Ranked Valor Cup should be over now. Yep, there we go. So, 300 crystals, got three five-star charms. Season begins, and let's see. When 90 skill points are used before the opponent increases all orb damage until the end of battle by 50%. All right, that's a pretty good uh, you know skill, because a lot of the teams that uh, the higher-end people are using don't rely on alts. We're relying on normal orbs to kill. So this will stack with like the hero's 50% extra damage on orbs. So it's actually 100% on top of, you know, whatever buff you're doing. So, I mean, okay. So yeah, I'm fine with this, especially if you have a starting hand full of greens. So cool beans. Let's move on. There was something interesting in here for Soka. 
change to the description of her skill. <clears throat> so, the pre-change skill description is changes all new souls added to hand to greens and increases damage. And now it says changes all souls newly added to hand. Uh, okay, so they, add, they added... They, they swapped new for newly. Alright, cool. <laughs> Whatever. It, it, it doesn't actually change the effect of the skill. It's just how it's worded, which really doesn't help too much. <laughs> okay, whatever. But now let's get on to the new content preview. So, this should be our final unit for the meta. Um, if they keep the bride theme, it should probably be a female character. If it is, then I'm thinking maybe Trainee to go with Trya, right? Or maybe Isis, like Bright Isis being our first summonable version of her would be cool. Um, I mean, we already have Bride Xi'an, we already have Bride Shuna, we have Bride Soka. Could be Milim, could be another Milim, always on the table. Or it could be another Groom Rimuru, or it could be a Groom version of Soe to go with Soka, or kind of like a, an efficient version of Hakuro or Benimaru. Or it could be Albus, actually. No, we got Albus and Font of Wisdom, but... Oh well, whatever. So let, let's take a look as far as what else I would expect in here. I don't I don't actually really know. Oh, is there? I think there's a speed battle coming. A speed or defense battle, I think, is coming soon. So maybe that's in here, too. I might be talking on my ass. Let's find out. Oh, we get a new rain. Interesting. Okay, well, I mean, yeah. I mean, we still haven't gotten a summonable misery. I wonder why that. <clears throat> so this is our second summonable rain, and we only have a free-to-play misery unit. Okay. I mean, I'm I'm not the biggest fan of rain, mainly because I don't really know the Primordial's whole backstory, because, again, I don't read the light novels or anything, and I don't want to be spoiled on that. Just, just know that I don't know much about rain, so I'm not too hyped about rain, personally. But, all right. Uh, we've got normal packs for her. This is a very interesting. Looks like she uses a spear. Just based on this long staff going on back here. It, I mean, it could be a trident, whatever. Um, okay, normal packs. So tickets, hot pot, ores, crystals, whatever. Uh, we got the 10% ticket as well. And, oh, that's it. <laughs> that's it. And Conquest Prime. Oh, okay. Um, let's see if Twitter has her animation. So they didn't post Sokas, but they might post Reigns. Who knows? Let's check it out. So let's go here. And no, we don't have any animation for Rain. We just have Soka. Okay, so we will find out what Soka, or not Soka, but uh, Rain's first skill is tomorrow morning at 4 a.m. my time. Um, I expect her to be another support unit, probably an AoE. She could be a sub DPS, since Trya is an AoE and Soka is an AoE. She could be a single target, but since this is going to be a turn limit boss battle for Jubilee, it would probably make more sense for her to be AoE and also a support unit, right? Because Shuna, she has her stuff. Soka has her own buffs for the for the team that are you know small and cheap and the, the greens for the future uh, future hands. These are good skills right here, and Shuna is very powerful, you know, with with Mirren and all of the buffs that we can give them. So, I I don't I think probably the biggest thing that we're missing off of this team is the lowering of crit resistance. Because if we take a look at the team as I have as I have it set up now, like we have the um, temporary attack buff, right, and then the future hands. We've got light attack and crit damage, and then we have permanent attack buff from Shizu, and then we have the orb changing goddess from you know Trya, and then we have the hero 2.0 who is giving the orbs extra damage and lowering elemental resistance. So the only real thing that I could see this you know, this rain doing would be lowering the crit resistance of the enemy by 30-40% with another effect going on as well. Something relatively cheap uh, that to fit the cheap kind of low-cost meta because Mirren doesn't raise skill cap at all. 
So, I mean, that's the biggest thing. We have attack, we have light attack, we have crit. I mean, she could give pierce because the, the beatdown battle doesn't have natural pierce resistance until turn 8 where he gets crit resistance as well. So uh, it, it's not out of the realm of possibility that they she would give like pierce rate, which would actually help because if you don't have this Shuna, but you have, you know, light Shion, she needs someone to give her pierce. And if you have to use Shion because you don't have Shuna as your primary DPS, she's not going to run at 100% efficiency on this team because no one's giving her pierce. You'd have to bring Water Alice or you'd have to bring someone else to, a to activate that. So I think a unit to give, you know, uh, guaranteed pierce and like, I don't know, couple, some percentage of pierce resistance down, like 20% pierce resistance down, and then the second skill would be crit resistance down or something. Um, I think that could be a realistic uh, skill set for this incoming reign. Or, I, you know, it could be something else entirely. She, I don't think she would be an orb changer, right? We have her guaranteeing greens. We have Trya with all of her orb changing. Shuna is stealing orbs. So I don't think we need any more orb changing on this team. Um, but if she does end up being kind of like a pierce support slash crit resistance dance uh, support, I mean, you could take that onto a number of other teams if it actually works out like that. So, again, we'll have to see in about nine hours or so when they drop the skill preview on Twitter. Um, I'll post it as a community post, and then we'll kind of go from there. This, I, I don't... Hey! The cat is eating my food. Awesome. <clears throat> Hold on one second. And that's why Vader's an asshole. Alright, so, uh, what was I talking about? Um... Depending on the kit of this rain, I might, might skip her. I, I, I don't know. I, 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 we went much further than we than a normal person should have for Soka, considering we got her at 50 pity and I went to 400. So crystals, we're looking at 6,200 right now. We do still have whatever the summer project will be. Still don't know what that is. I don't know if it's going to be a collab. I don't know if it's going to be some stupid, you know, new event thing. We don't know, but I kind of want to save some crystals for it. So if Rain ends up being not as impressive as I hope she should be, I might personally just skip her. But we don't know. We'll have to find out. And then also, as a add-on, I'll probably make a whole video about this, but um, I'm going to have to start saving some money here because it looks like um, I am moving out of this apartment in August early August, or well, mid to late August is when my official move-out date will be, but um, you may know Sassy, right? Friend of the channel. Her mother is a landlord for many houses, and the house directly across from where Sassy lives is, is opening up with a vacancy, so it looks like I'm going to be able to rent a three-bedroom house soon and get out of this one-bedroom apartment, finally, after five years of here. So we'll have some deposits and additional... Uh, cash requirements for IRL stuff coming up very soon, so I might have to take a bit of a break from spending in slime. But I will probably make a video about that, kind of going over the whole situation later on. But that'll do it for the video. So we've got new rain incoming, we've got Conquest Prime difficulty spikes, we've got Valor Cup Season 8, um, and yeah, we'll find out what rain does in nine hours or so, but, you know, until then, take it easy, guys, and I'll see you later.